everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Movie 10 podcast. Yeah. I'm Dio and this is Joy. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good to be back. <laughs> Same here. Um, today we'll be talking about the problematic heterosexual dynamics in Nollywood movies. Um, we're starting with Love and Life. Um, Love and Life follows the lives of three women, Abike, Ivy, and Osas, who have to deal with different relationship challenges. Through the sisterly support of one another, they embark on a journey of rediscovery and empowerment. Mm. What do you think, Joy? Okay, love and life. <laughs> um, so I, I, I think love and life, the idea was to share the older woman's dating experience. experience. And I don't think they uh, got it right. I will start with, um, I mean, when I say got it right, when it regards um, to the topic of mm -hmm. today, how problematic I see the dynamic, the exactly. dynamics of the heterosexual relationship. Mm -hmm. And I would like to start with Inse, who, who happens to be Osas yes. um, in Love and Life. Inse is an older woman dating a younger, a younger man. man much younger man Chairman. and Inse is portrayed as this um immature yeah. um tantrum throwing <laughs> almost belligerent yes quite belligerent <laughs> and spoiled um woman who just isn't um aware of who she is in the whole um, situation she has with this younger man. I am not sure why they portrayed the older man and the older woman to be that way, but it was quite cringe for me. She's getting drunk in public places because the man is talking to a younger a younger girl. Younger girls, um, yes. She is losing herself, crying in the restroom complaining constantly to her friends and it was just too much and i know they're trying to make it seem cute you know that you know, she's oh, in love for she's the in first love time. and you know it doesn't matter age doesn't matter she's in love you know they try to make you feel like oh she's 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 you know she's an older woman she's in love she she has a right to have them butterflies very crazy butterflies what no <laughs> It just, I, I don't, okay, so yes, she has a right to all of these feelings, but the way it was presented, though, it was just cringe. Getting drunk in public and all of those things. We don't have too many older women love stories in Nollywood. And even if we do, the ones that we have, have I still do not believe they have told the story in the way that makes the woman still look like, you know, be, I maintain her dignity, maintain your dignity, be respectful and still be in love and still feel the way yeah. you need to feel. I don't think they do that. So the thing about having stories about the older woman dating the younger man, as true as it is to life, I think we should take the time to understand that it is a very, it is not a very common story Yes. to understand. So if indeed she's dating somebody way younger, that guy was like in his 20s and she was hitting 50s. Mm -hmm. I mean, hitting her late 40s, late, late 40s in the movie. So you, we have to get clarity on the why. Why does this relationship exist? Because it's not a, it's an unconventional love story. Yes. So why does this relationship exist? You know, we can't just have a grown woman who can take care of, of her needs. Because remember the start of the movie, I think he woke up in her home yeah. and she's well to do. Very well we to can't do. just have a well to do woman taking care of her knees, dating a, is he a model? I can't remember. What was his job? Yes, he was a model. Something like an advertiser. <laughs> he was something. a model. Model was part of. Yeah, yes, yes. So we can't doing? have that. We can't have that story and not be able to figure out why does this even exist? And then even if you forget to tell us why it exists, why would you have an accomplished older woman just throwing tantrums 
because her young lover is she suspects that he's with somebody else why would you what is the essence of making her look that way I, I, it was very uncomfortable for me to understand um i just didn't understand why she was throwing tantrum over this guy he labeled himself a gigolo at some point which also means that she has been taking care of him financially yes so you're taking care of this younger man financially and you as you assume he's cheating and then you are throwing 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 tantrums in public spaces at a bar everybody's looking because it's a movie Yes. If it wasn't a movie. Yes, because I, I, that part too was like, <laughs> it was come so on, cringe. Come on. So I don't, I suspect, it, I don't think it is, I, I don't think they had an older woman in that team to clarify. Especially an older Nigerian woman. woman to kind of clarify the this whole story. It's not cute. Mm-mm. I know what they were going for, but it's not cute to have a woman over 40 um, losing herself in that way for a a young man that, what really does he bring to the table? <laughs> Why is she losing her shit? Um... <laughs> we know the other room is there. And you know, <laughs> is even, is, we always try to make it look like, you know, the young men, they really have their skills. No, no necessarily but let's not go there but you know <laughs> what is he really bringing to the table that is making her just lose everything i couldn't deal with that <laughs> i think i feel they were trying to make a case for being insecure you know i'm older he's younger he's, he's a model surrounded by all this you know young beautiful women all the time and you know if it's a case for insecurity, it still was not well portrayed for the type of woman they claim that the character is. She's accomplished. Yeah. She has yeah. friends who love her. She has a sisterhood, you know. She has everything going on for her. Mm-hmm. So saying that maybe she, okay, she's in love for the first time, it still doesn't justify, I don't think, you know, yeah, the, and paint, and painting and her in that light because she's in love. Yeah, and then the, we always, they always try to make the, the older woman look insecure. In all the narratives in Hollywood, you always have the older woman trying to buy her way, her, her way into love. Yeah, they did that. Then. You know, they, we always have the older woman. It, you know, and it's a stereotype that it's lazy writing. Yes. Lazy storytelling. Um, we just always have the older woman looking like desperate and yeah needy she has to throw her money throw her money herself her dignity on the floor so i i I wasn't exactly a fan of that narrative with the insect character and um i feel they could have done so much better with the two of them giving her agency giving her dignity and still making her cry once in a while miss him once in a while those are genuine human feelings and get up once in a while but not to just remain this woman who just can't seem to breathe because of one young guy who is and okay so at the end of the day it's it was all in her head he wasn't doing um what she thought No, he, he was doing. But her, we'll yeah. get back to the men. Let's go to the next woman. I think it's uh, Michelle. Yes. Um, did his character. Ivy. Ivy. Ivy is also losing her ish in her marriage. marriage yeah. She's married. Uh, she's losing her ish because the husband is acting weird. Yes. Leaving home um, early, coming late, not having, co- not communicating with, with her. her. And then it gets to a point where she actually believes he's having he's an cheating affair, and yeah. having a, a an affair like a proper affair with somebody that he spends a lot of time with mm-hmm. only for us to have the rita Domnik character abike yeah abike you know come into that particular situation to try to solve it as a matter of fact abike is there to solve everybody's problem because yes. she's trying to i don't know overcome or her her, her when, grief yeah grief yes. her personal grief so she comes in to try to help her friends so in this particular situation with um ivy ivy she finds out he's supposed to be cheating yes and she puts her mouth into the situation and tries to solve um the situation for this for ivy and her husband it's still go it still boils down to the communication so um, insert, uh, what's her character's name again? Oh, Sass. Oh, Sass and her man. Poor communication. Yes. 
um, Ivy. Ivy and her man, who happens to be Chidi Mokeme, poor communication. Yes. So that so the problem here is poor communication, right? Mm -hmm. And then, even though they're having that situation with the poor communication, the movie still tries to make it seem as if there's nothing wrong with the men. It is the woman. It's the women are the ones that are just thinking up things that are not true. Yes. That's what, at the end of the day, it seems like they're trying to say, oh, there's nothing wrong with these men, no. These women are just not getting it right. But the truth is, they are gaslighting the women. Yes. Isn't it? Because yes. if you're not coming, what, what would it take um, for a says man to just say, these ladies are just my colleagues. You can come on set. You can see I don't have a relationship with them. Hey, come and see. This is my woman. You, This is my colleague. Make the introductions. And did that ever happen? Maybe mm. it did. I can't remember. <laughs> but if he really wanted peace in his relationship, they could have that, that, the conflict. There was no conflict for it to become a big issue. But we're not reviewing the movie. We already reviewed the movie. So mm -hmm. you can check it out on Movie 10 Ninja on Instagram. Instagram. So um, I just, like I said, it's weak. It's the, the portrayal of these older women just wasn't working for me. Back to Osas and her man. Yes. That's Michelle Dede, right? No, Ivy is Michelle Dede. Ivy, okay. Ivy and her husband. And the part of Abike coming in to solve their um, issue. I talked to you about it when we, we watched it. And I said, um, it's incredible how when uh, Abike, the character Abike, when she speaks to, because she was confrontational with the 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 man, her yeah. friend's husband, and the, the, other so, woman, the side opposite, chick. Yes. And when she spoke to the side chick, you could see that she was, she, she looked at her like she was nothing. She didn't, yeah. she didn't, she looked at her. There was a condescending. Co and it, you know, it's just that very condescending look at the so-called side chick. But when she speaks to her, her friend's husband, there was a lot of respect, a lot of understanding, a lot of empathy even. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the situation, like we always say, it is, but it is the man that you, that owes your friend any kind of responsibility of being loyal and faithful. Yes. But then you don't pass on that aggression or that, um, that, that aggression towards him. You reserve it for the, the, other, the, woman. the other woman. And then you still treat him with all of the, that is a bit of an internalized misogyny for me where the man is the one really committing something wrong, but you don't give him the energy that he deserves but you are giving it to the to the woman you believe he's cheating on only for us to realize that he's not he's no, not, he's not the, the he's not the, the lady thought she was he was the, her father <laughs> the story itself and all of its complications so bottom line with it might take bottom line with that movie is the men are right the women just don't understand what's going men, on. Yeah, no, the women are making up all the scenarios in their head. They're making up all the scenarios head. in their head. And it was clear, you know, that they were asking to know what, what was happening. Ivy kept asking her husband. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Until it grew into this massive mountain. Mm -hmm. that, and then even when she started accusing him of infidelity, he still, didn't, still see anything. didn't see anything. It's their way of trying to make us still, oh, the man, oh, he's trying to, oh, oh. You know, it's still, they are still trying to protect the man in some ways. Because I don't understand why an adult will ask an adult what is wrong. And you can't just say, listen, this is what I'm going through. This is supposed to be your wife, the closest person you have. You are dying. Or you are having really terminal, Ill, yeah. ten, ten, uh, terminal illness. Shouldn't you be having a conversation on this? How are you going to sweep it under the carpet? When are you going to address it? It's just... Yeah, and I thought that part was weak. Yes, and because they are not 21-year-old women. So yeah. you're not, it's not like you're trying to protect a young girl from the trauma and the pain. These are older women. You know, they've been around for a while. They can take it. So when you now portray the story where all these older women are, you know, they just all playing up in their heads it's just it's not cute i think for me the heterosexual dynamics the problematic issue with all of the relationship is they were not communicating they weren't communicating the and men weren't communicating the men weren't communicating and then that incest character i just i can't 
I didn't like her at all. I don't understand it. I know where the, what they were trying to get. I know what they were trying to a- achieve with that character. But I can tell you for free, for an older woman, it's not right to lose your age like that because yes. of a younger man. It's not cute. Just in, maybe you watch the movie and you think, oh, this is a cute thing for me to, qu- to try to and try do and in do, my relationship. Yeah. Sweetie, it's not cute. All right, it you isn't. are grounded. You are experienced. You've been around for a while. You've built a business. That yes. brain that you used to build a business is the same brain you would use to um, evaluate your yeah. relationship with your man. It's the same brain you used to bring it, bring to the table and say, "How am I going to deal with this without sounding or looking like I'm a yes, crazy person?" Yes, exactly. That should self-preservation should always be at the forefront mm-hmm, in, your, in mm-hmm. your interactions and your dealings. He is fine the way he is. He's just standing and you're the one losing your shit. Yeah, exactly. And, and everyone there is just looking at mm. her like, what's, what's going, going on? on? And they had to make her do that in public. And they had to make her do that in public. At 40 plus woman. Not acceptable. <laughs> her character might be, you know, flamboyant and all, but that does not necessarily mean make that she, mean has, she to has to. Exactly. exactly. She has to do that. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, you know, I, I don't, I know what they were trying to achieve, but it just didn't work mm, for that character. Quite nearly not it. at all. <laughs> okay, so how do we round up life and love regarding the dynamics of heterosexual relationship? Mm, I feel, let me address the one with um, Ivy and um, Abike and the, the other woman. Um, it's still you know, tries to paint that picture of the men not being held adequately accountable when, you know, something is going on. Even if he had been having, you know, another, an affair with the lady. You do, you have no business with the woman. Exactly. You have no business. Stop pitting women against each other in that yeah. way. It's the man that said, you know, for better, mm, for worse. True. It's the man that should be held accountable. Don't say men will be men Mm-mm. and normalize yeah, no. infidelity because no. Exactly. And I really do want to see a Nollywood movie that truly portrays the older woman in love relationships, especially older women finding love in a Gen Z world. Yes. When I say Gen Z world, the way the world is patterned now to favor younger people, but an older the older woman trying to navigate the, the whole mm-hmm. um, situation and trying to find I would really like to see a very well told story of an older woman falling in love with a younger man. Yes. I really yes. W- without you trying to make her, oh, I'm buying this love or I want him for the sex or all of those just genuine connection. Connection between an older woman and a younger man. man. It would be great to see. I would and you love know, to it see. would be great to see yeah. the emotional connection and all of that instead of all of these narratives that just makes one person look crazy and the other person look like, okay. I need to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. Welcome back. Um, we're talking about Kanani next. Kanani. Star-crossed lovers, Obeyi and Bubu, find their love put to the ultimate test as they navigate a world of unforeseen twists and hardships, ultimately finding themselves in ox- unexpected and heart-wrenching circumstances. Mm, mm, can can I, yeah. You can read our review, review on Movie 10 Ninja on Instagram. What I find it so weird how, you know, when men write these stories about women and they put the women through such horrible, sexual, depraved experiences. I'm sorry, I know I'm supposed to just enjoy the art, but I'm thinking, what, why is this the depravity of the suffering, the sexual, like, why are you digging into the vagina so deep <laughs> with all of these horrible experiences it is uncomfortable for me to understand why they write it that way with all of it's scary 
Okay, so they made what's her name? Obehi. Obehi go through the most traumatic, heart disturbing situations because they needed to pass a message that she suffered, right? Yeah. Okay. So she fun. suffered. Like they always try to put all of the women they that go through all of the prostitution situation mm -hmm. the depravity is wild um it i don't find it i don't see it as art i don't see it as creative i really it bothers me it bothers me maybe because i'm a feminist i just find it weird that men write these stories <laughs> it doesn't mean they shouldn't write it i'm yeah, that's, that's how, uh, it just does, how it's personal. my personal opinion. opinion. <laughs> it's my personal opinion. It doesn't mean they shouldn't write the stories, but it's just weird to see, especially in this climb where I know that there is a big patriarchal issue with um, women yes. finding themselves and dealing with just being human beings and all of that. So anyway, so she went through all of that depravity. Ah, she went through a lot. <laughs> Okay. A lot. So Ob Ob Obehi? Yes. Obehi they... went through all of that. And then when she was, the minute she could breathe air, the minute oxygen could get into her lungs, yeah? The yeah. first thing she, she was thinking of, the first thing that crossed her mind was, <gasps> my lost love in Nigeria. I need to get back to I it. need to get back to Now, this is a woman who has crossed seven seas of pain. Sexual wow. pain. She has seen the world unravel, turned inside out. She has been turned inside she, out. She, all of her system, she, is, she has been dehumanized in yes. ways that you can only imagine. But then when she tastes freedom, just a bit of it, the first thing that crosses her mind is, I need to get back to a man. When a when like series of men had destroyed her. I and this know. is not even, you know, trying to, you know, there's no feminist, you know, angle well, to it. It's I don't just... mind if they think it is. I really I have never really cared, but... <laughs> You know, because there's I would, always that, there's yeah, maybe that I flag. I would never even defend whether I'm coming from a feminist angle or not. Personally, I don't defend anything, right? I have a right to feel the way I feel as a woman in this mm -hmm. society um, and all of that. So I don't get to give a caveat to say this is from a feminist, it is from a joy perspective, and I stand by it anywhere. I think it is incredibly painful to watch that scene happen. Because when you go through what Ob Obehi went through, the first logical thing a woman needs to do is breathe, find herself, Lick her find the pieces of her that are left in the world. Yes. Because she is broken to, is like throwing the, a glass on the floor. There is nothing to pick. So if she is, if she's looking at that and she's trying to redeem her life, find herself. She's going to try and see how she can piece all of, find meaning mm -hmm. in all of the pain she went through. Run into a hole and really, you know, cry. The tears of, okay, I have this freedom, but I still don't know who I am. I've yeah. been through hell and back. What am I going to do in this world? Like, you, we just, we, we don't even give her the opportunity to truly reflect on her journey of pain and suffering. Because, like I say, a lot of the stories don't regard women as, as human, human beings, beings to feel anything. They are here to carry the pain and the burden of men. And then when they go through that, they will be fine. They would find something somewhere. I'm going to chip in Rona that I watched on Prime Video okay. and how that movie truly upset me because that is another woman who went through all kinds of sexual depravity, all kinds of sexual depravity. At the end of the day, 
the redeeming factor the movie had to give us is that oh her younger brother I, well, did he steal the money they shall found a lot of money and they are good to go so in essence money fixes everything money fixes all of mm -hmm. her pain like we didn't even get to address like she, we didn't <sighs> the movie didn't even give us a moment to see her introspect like go through all of her pain and try to find meaning to all yeah. of the suffering it's the same thing that is happening with the kanani one which is even worse <laughs> because she left all of this pain to go and look for a man and guess what the man had, had moved on, moved on. <laughs> i'm sorry but you know who you know we, we we saw it at the cinema together and we saw everything she went through <sighs> everything she went through and so it, it just mm -mm, mm -mm. It, it was it, it came as a shock you know the way they just glossed over all of that thank you that's the word in you the, just glossed the, over her in the suffering. name of the romantic angle these things happen women get you know they get abducted mm -hmm. and sold into sexual slavery it mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. and the first thing that crosses it, uh, your mind cannot be a man it cannot be that i'm free Okay, where is, where, where is my where lost is love? My lost love. You know, it's just, it's, when we say these things, I mean, we, you and I, we've been talking about this in privately in our corner, like, we just complain and complain, and we decided, you know, we're going to make a podcast out of this thing, and find people who connect to what we're trying to say. Yeah. Like I said, we love Nollywood, so it's not a matter of the, the industry, it's just like the story. You, we need mm -hmm. to tell stories that make women feel like, I I matter. Yes. I matter. A woman cannot go through all of that. And at the end of the day, it is one man. She crosses the seven seas again to go meet, only for the man to have moved on. And in some ways, we, we didn't have, we didn't even have the opportunity to worry with this girl. Like, we didn't have the opportunity to exhale with her when she finally crossed. Yes. We didn't have the, they never give us the opportunity Yes. To come together as sisters and just rejoice with her. Yeah. You know, help her through that moment. You know how sisters yeah. are, they hold their hands and we don't get the cinematic moment to be sisters with any of these characters. Yeah. Because, you know, Petra needs her to get up. It's just the way they say about pregnancy. <laughs> when a woman is trying to tell you that pregnancy hurts or pregnancy is this and you see a you see patriarchy. Uh uh, not only you don't carry pregnant, uh, uh, every woman gets pregnant. I bet you, but you know, like, they don't care. <laughs> no, you first get belly. No, you first get belly. <laughs> what's there? You can, and you see all of these arguments on social media. Eh, the woman, eh, what is there? A eh, pregnant woman can carry 10 billion um, wood on her head. You know, people who have never been pregnant in their lives, who don't have wombs. They tell women <sighs> what, how to feel when they are pregnant, what to do when they are pregnant. So I'm not going to sit here and say this is a feminist argument or this is not. This is a joy opinion. And I am everything that I am. Feminist, you know, opinionated and all of that. But you see, you can't keep saying, you can't keep sharing those stories. Yeah? Mm, Without yeah. addressing the fact that you are dealing with a human being. Yes. It makes no sense. That somebody suffered the depravity or that he suffered and gets up. The minute freedom um, breaks, she's off to go look for a man. Where is even the romance there? The man did not wait for you. <laughs> okay, maybe he thought you were dead. But even you, why didn't she also think he was dead? Why was she the one to have all of that faith in the love? Thank you. Why, I was why don't to we that. have the man? The man <laughs> suffered a bit, but nothing close. <laughs> to what she suffered so why is it always, why is why didn't she forget about about him love when she had been through everything why didn't why did why didn't all of men abusing her twist her mind why must it be that it is her that keeps faith with some love in the village right while she's suffering somewhere but the man did not do you know what I'm saying? I do, I, mean, I like, do, I do, I so, do. You know, there, 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 are, 
there, it's there's more than yes, mm -hmm. it is. There's there's more than one. Okay, when we say when we talk about objectifying women, it, a lot of the, a lot of the time, it's the sexual angle, you know, we are coming from. But this is another form of obje objectification. Her agency is completely disregarded for the sole purpose of okay. We need them to have the romantic reunion that did not even happen. You know, I just know one thing I know for a fact. These stories rob us of full empathy for yeah. the women character. Yes. They don't want you to feel empathy. Yeah. And is in is is it's true to the Nigerian society? Yes. They don't want you to feel empathy. Just for women trivializes our experience yes when a woman comes out crying about anything on social media you can check it out if a woman comes out complaining about anything the first thing you see is people are trying to trivialize her pain they always try to do that all kinds of stories check it out all kinds of stories you see a woman who um she finally goes abroad i mean one of the stories i saw recently um she goes abroad and then she divorces her nigerian husband and the that one is down crying crying they divorced me and everybody starts shaming the woman when the woman and finally comes out to tell us everything she went through in nigeria yeah that had to prompt that particular reaction mm -hmm. nobody wanted to hear and she did give a detailed experience for us to see yeah. where she's coming from but no why did you not stay with your husband that you went to the america or the uk or the france with what because you see what about our experiences? We don't care. Mm. We don't care. We do not humanize her experiences. So these, it is the same mentality that comes into the writing. And it you see, that's what be. it shouldn't be. That's what I'm saying. Listen, you, <laughs> it's just not your turf. <laughs> it's not your game to play. When it comes to women's stories, it's not your game to play. You don't know half. You don't want no. You don't know half the story. You don't know half the experiences. You don't know. And if you really want to write these stories, why not get you know, get be open your heart. Yes. Open your heart. Take away every everything you know. Be very intentional to tell this story so that you don't be tell it. So that you don't tell a story where a woman suffers this level of depravity, and then when she is able to breathe, the first thing she's thinking about is. A man. Yeah, we were annoyed on our behalf. Ah. We saw it's like, no, ah. no, 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 you can't go through all of that. And no, no, no. Because no, no, patriarchy no. cannot conceive that the man should be the one to worry. Yeah, he did suffer, he did worry, but nothing close to what Obehi went, went through, through or the actions she took to, to get back to him. Nothing close, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Food for yeah. thoughts. Food for thoughts. <laughs> so you know the whole um, the whole relationship for me was pro problematic. Uh, the Obehi and the Bovo, Bovo relationship was it was just whatever they thought they wanted us to feel. I didn't feel it. Mm -mm. I was just really upset because I was upset because I just didn't think I liked the way she was handled, her pain, her experiences. I, mm -hmm. I don't think I liked the mm -hmm. way she was handled mm -hmm. at all she she we if you're trying to you're trying to tell us the story we deserve to empathize with her yeah mm -hmm. we deserve to empathize with she went through a and we didn't lot. we didn't get the opportunity to and we didn't yeah. we didn't okay this was heavy this it particular was. one was heavy okay it we move quite. on we move on <laughs> we'll be back <laughs> And we're back. This time we're talking about rape to romance. Okay. So we're not exactly calling out any movie because there are so many movies that fall under this category. category yeah. So we're not calling out any particular movie. But two weeks ago, I watched a YouTube movie. Mm -hmm. I was excited because, you know. And in, within the space of 15 minutes, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Because it was established that the lady was raped. And whilst it was established that happened, the nuances, mm -hmm. the context was driving towards, because, you know, he's a hot guy. 
she's a hot babe something happened it was the kind of rape that is not the violent one it's you know somebody you know how they want to excuse a man so they'll make sure that maybe she drank something just like the the dinner one <laughs> Oh, you know, you take yeah. anti this person. I, I, I think yeah. she, she, she took something and she was drowsy or something. She, she found herself in a different hotel room. But the most important thing is it was not consensual. It was not consensual. She did not give her consent before that happened. So it is rape. Hello. It is rape. Please, am I communicating? Yeah. It is rape. Okay. I know the society kind of mixes it up. They always feel like they have to drag her, beat her this is, before it is called rape. No, 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 no. If you don't get a specific yes, yeah, you can carry on. <laughs> it is not. It is rape. If you don't get that specific yes, carry on with the with the duty of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it is rape. Okay. So she, he didn't get whether he's a tall, dark, handsome. He still didn't get a yes to do whatever he did. So. So, you know, I saw that happen, okay. And then I started seeing some funny, funny moves where the filmmaker was trying to create a romantic situation with these people. And I couldn't go past 15 minutes. I couldn't go. I said, nah, I'm not going to do this. Not in 2024. <laughs> I am not going to do I just ended this because I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this at all. You know, I, I think society struggles to um, penalize men. Yes. For their bad behavior. They struggle to penalize men for their criminal behavior. They struggle. They always try to find a way to ensure that mm -hmm. it's not really I mean, check it out. Um in the last in the last two months they've sentenced three men to life in that we are aware of on social mm -hmm. media to life imprisonment for rape. Right? And when you go to the comment section, you would see people saying, uh uh, is that not too much? Is that not too much? It's, it's almost like they want to put a bit to it. Is that not too much? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have to live with these crazy things. <laughs> is that not too much? Is that not too much? Because you see, again, they don't care about the woman. They don't care about the girl child. So is that not too much? <sighs> is that not too much? Do you understand you, what I'm saying? No. Like, you have... I would like... You know, since people want to, you know... If you want to, I would like somebody, a man, to write the story of men, yeah, who study medicine. You know how many years you study yes. medicine? I want you to write a story about men who study medicine, then go abroad, and in two months, they are jailed because they tried Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to do something sexually offensive to either a colleague or, or a to patient. a patient. Write stories like that. Doesn't it bother society that these men would go, to, they would read, 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 or prepare to travel abroad for, for greener pastures only for them, for, only for UK police to be at your door. Boom, boom, boom. Three, three weeks later, please bring out your phone. We are aware that you are communicating with a 13-year-old Mm. Like you sold your property in Nigeria. You sold everything you had. You borrowed money from family. Everything. Every single thing you are you are worth sold only for you to go abroad. And in three weeks, uh -uh. you go to a proper society for the first time. Yeah. And in three weeks, you are a court. You are a court. <laughs> <laughs> you are a court <laughs> with evidence. Because you think everywhere is third world shenanigans. shenanigans. <laughs> so when you know that you have a problem, it's not in Nigeria. Go yeah. abroad. That thing you are doing, go and do it abroad. Yes. And then you will know if truly you are a good person or not. Why don't you people write that story and leave women alone? I have yeah. always wondered why enter psycho what is happening in the psychological issue? Why would you study so hard? Yeah? Look at this um the man, the the the, the lecturer that I, I think he's been suspended, not even in jail, about law students. I don't remember the university, and they called him out and they had evidence of some yeah. 16 year old. Like you spent your whole life. You had to you have to you had to study yeah, law to study. be a lecturer. You had to go through yes. all of this pain. You have been in this industry, in this um in this um career for decades. 
you are going to go down because you have no restraints. Mm. You, but we are not seeing those stories to no. teach men. No, we are not on how to, you know, be a decent human being. We don't see the stories, but every day, right. every day, hey, prostitution, hey, 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 this <laughs> one, hey, prostitution, hey, like, like, who are the people patronizing this? It still comes back to men. Do you understand? Like, so, mm. I know I can I deviated a bit, sorry, but it's still, the rape to romance for me, it's all over the place. So where do we even start from? So that was how I stopped watching the YouTube, I said, we cannot vex this, this afternoon. Because I don't see how in a one carry, this girl, where they just rape, one make her be say she go fall in love with this guy because two of them are fine, and you want to bring out a romance story from that thing. I had to stop. It's not yeah, going to work because it shows a complete lack of empathy for the woman's mm -hmm, trauma mm -hmm. to feel that she will want to keep reliving that experience, you know, by <laughs> getting involved with her with, with, abuser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to be careful of kind exactly. of things at all because, exactly. you know, um. The children coming up are going to watch this and feel it's normal. And then several years down the line, shit hits the fan exactly. for everyone. So that's why I try to protect my girls. Like anything you watch, I try to explain it further. And I see, don't take this too seriously. This is just a movie. All right. But you know, because something has to influence. Yeah. Something has the to young. influence. So yeah. we have all of this content free to watch. And you know you never know what They're is influencing them. So they, so thousands. maybe they, so maybe they feel like when a guy does this to me, maybe he, no, 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 honey. Mm -hmm. So when you watch the movie, come mm. and watch this one. So we are telling you, it doesn't work like that. I know. I think it's conditioning that allows people think that in some ways a romantic story can exist side by side a criminal action. No, it is conditioning in no. this society no, where people, no, no, people no, no, where no. comments. Oh my god, you know how YouTube can get mm -hmm. the comments. Are, oh my god. This <laughs> See, instead of picturing that talk, that handsome guy, pictures, you know, one very battered, ugly, menacing looking guy. Well, that even, see, sis, even if they picture a handsome guy, you can picture a handsome guy and still accept that this person is a monster because yeah. he did something bad. You don't even have to, you can, con you can teach yourself how to be very objective with life. Yes, yeah. you're handsome, but... How does that even mean anything in the scheme of what is going on right now? Exactly, exactly. It doesn't mean anything. You cannot. We cannot have young girls where with with, col, with colored flowered. How do they rose say? Rose tinted. Rose tinted glasses. Glasses. <laughs> approaching life like you don't know what's going on. We can't have it. You, no, no, you, no, we no. Have no it. We can't. So all of this, this when you respond to that kind of content and you say you like it, it's conditioning. You have been conditioned by patriarchy to believe that. Rape can, in some ways, because everybody fine for inside the thing where they happen, it can be some ways connected to yeah. romance. romance. Those two should never be in the same in the same geographical at location. All. At all, there are thousands of of stories that you can tell. Why would you want to? Connect. Add thank that you. Narrative. Like, like, join that thank narrative. You. Thank you so much. Because it's, it's thank you. Thank you so much. Because when I saw the characters and the person who had the movie, I'm like, you know, you guys could have done way better with this storyline. Just completely take out the rape part. Find something else you could have said mm -hmm. about it for them to come together. I know that we enjoy when the two two beautiful people, man and woman, yeah. suffer conflicts. And within the conflict, they find, they love. find love. It's a beautiful story. We all write it. Mm -hmm. But not rape. There is no... Don't touch it. There is nothing there to find when you say that, I did not know when you slept with me. No. That is the end of your movie, honey. This is 2024. Yeah. Find another conflict. Please, I beg you. We have children. Yes. Find another conflict. Like, yeah, there is no conversation after rape. None. None. No, because during war times, this is something that is used as a torture weapon of torture mm -hmm. on women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, so you cannot. You are killing me. <laughs> with that oh, the realization of that just hit me. Yeah, it, it, it just hit me. Like, mm -mm, like stay away. Stay away. Stay away from that narrative. Mm. If you want to, if you want to use it as a, as a plot point, or you, if you want to use it to enlighten, 
be sure to make it clear there are consequences for doing this. It is wrong. It is not romance. Is not it, the consequence not, of it. Mm, mm, happily ever after. It, does, do, it, it doesn't it, work. Not. It, it it doesn't. Yeah. High five. All right. <laughs> we move. <laughs> we'll yeah, be we back. <laughs> And we're back and this time it's on abusive relationships i think the content that gets most of the engagements or in regarding any film is when the woman is being abused you know the viewers just never get tired of that kind of content when the woman is beaten in the marriage you know they are, they are going to show that they empathize they sympathize but they've been showing that for over 30 30 years, three decades of the same content. So at this point, with that level of, you're not tired of this content, you're still saying the same thing. It seems like it's pornography. It seems like poverty porn. Mm -hmm. It seems like misery porn, where you are enjoying this content. Why? It's, you're enjoying it, but it, when does it end? When do we stop telling this content? Because this content, they really do not actually have a lesson, like a real empowering information for the woman coming back to the abuse relationship abusive man it's not the lesson do you understand so it's like it's like pornography it's like poverty porn because they enjoy it so at the at the bottom of this abusive uh, relationship content that is very problematic is the gratification it gives the creator and the viewers. It is literally just the gratification and the satisfaction they get watching this kind of content. They are not exactly expecting the woman to get empowered and, you know, uh, move away from this and not go back to the gutter life or whatever. They want her to go back. At the end of the day, they want her to forgive and, you know, take him back. Take him back. That is because you enjoy the process. You are enjoying the process of this p pornography <laughs> that is gratifying to something inside of you. It's a problem. And women have to be the tool for this kind of gratification. Always. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> so do subscribe. Please follow us subscribe. on YouTube and enjoy our content. We are also on all our social media platforms. Our reviews, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Threads. Yes, and, and Facebook. Yeah, that and Facebook. We are Movie 10 Ninja. All right? See you soon. Bye. Bye.